So I'd like to go over an acupressure and acupuncture protocol that I would use in clinic to help people with insomnia. The first point we're going to start with is actually not on the regular meridian and it's called on Mayan. Okay, I'm probably butchering the name here, but uh, I'll show you where it is. It's probably easier to show you that way. So right behind the earlobe, mastoid process. How's that, Mickey? It's tender. Really tender right there? So what I do is I'd actually stimulate this point for, oh, could be 15, 20 seconds. But what I would do here, I'm gonna get you to turn this way a little bit so the camera can see it, is actually get, bring your head forward here, and I'm gonna find both sides here. You feel that there? Oh, both yeah. sides? Oh. So I'm basically gonna get up there, take my thumbs on there, and move that in there. How's that feel there? The right one is Oh, way more, more tender. tender than the left one, yeah. Yeah, it's funny because you can actually feel more of a myofascial restriction, just just inferior to the mastoid process, just post yeah. posterior there. Feeling okay though? Yeah, yeah. Okay. Not too intense. No, it's not, not painful at all. Okay, all right. So we'd be on there for could be 15, 20 seconds, repeat it a couple more times. And uh, this can actually be pretty effective. And also in terms of patients, this is something they can do before bedtime. So the next point we're going to go over on the insomnia protocol is spleen six. Now, if we go to the medial malleolus, and then we're going to go up three tune. So Mickey, why don't you show them what three tune is using your hand? So it is four finger lengths, or widths I should say, are from that right on the medial border of the tibia. So we're about right there. Feeling that there? Yeah. Okay. So there's a really important point about this area when it comes to pregnancy. Mickey, why don't you explain about what... Yeah, so for pregnancy, we were told that this would be a contraindicated point. So a point that you do not stimulate if the woman was within her first, second, and even the earlier parts of her third trimester. So the area will actually stimulate the uterus and can start it to go into contractions. So when women are in their later stages of pregnancy and they do want to start to induce labor quicker, say they're already at 38, 39, 40 weeks or over 40 weeks, and they want to stimulate that labor, this is actually a very intense spot that acupuncturists will actually stimulate in order mm -hmm. to help to rev up labor. So in the first two trimesters especially, but even the beginning of the third trimester, it is a contraindicated, you do not go near that area for a woman who is pregnant. Very, very good point. But if you're not pregnant and you want to get over insomnia, <laughs> <laughs> then this is a great point to combine with our, our protocol. And again, we do this for about two minutes. So the next point in our protocol is going to be liver three. If we go between the first toe and the second toe, go right up the web to about the point right here, Start stimulating that point. Okay, how are we doing? You can tell by that look on your face. Now, this is an interesting point because it's actually a very powerful one. And in traditional Chinese medicine, this can have quite effect on blood pressure, circulation, uh, even anxiety. All of these are factors which are important in uh, dealing with sleep issues. So we would stimulate this point for a, a minute or two. You doing okay there? Yeah, that eased up. Good, good. Now, each of these points that I'm going over, if I was doing acupuncture, I put needles in each of these points and I'd leave them there for a period of time. It could be 20, 30 minutes coming back and stimulating them. But these are all very powerful points. Just out of curiosity, let's go up here to about right there. Oh. Pretty tender? Yeah. 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 Okay. Oh, I already used that like that. Yeah. That almost, almost immediately. It's kind of funny because it's almost like it just sunk right in there. Yeah. It melted away, literally. That was weird. How are we doing here? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Like, yeah. And that's not yeah. tender anymore. No. There. Okay. Excellent. So the next important point is going to be governor vessel 20, also known as the 100 convergences. We're going to go up from the ears and we're going to take our hands and go into a slight depression. Bring your head forward here about this point here. Is that tender right there, Mickey? Yep. Okay. <laughs> now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to get on this point and I'm going to put a little bit of pressure on there. Okay, how's that feeling right there? Mm. Now, mm. if you're actually stimulating this yourself, you'd put pressure on there for about a minute. You okay there? Yeah. 
And this has quite an effect actually in getting people to relax and reducing stress, anxiety. Again, all very important factors when it comes to getting a person to sleep. You okay there? Oh yeah, it's yeah, you can feel it lessening. It almost feels know, just kind of softening, easing yeah. up. So the next important point, or I should say points, is going to be gallbladder 20. I say points because we have to stimulate both sides of the body at the same time. Now, if we just go base of the skull here, and I go up spinous processes right to the base of the skull, and then I go over slightly from there and start stimulating those points. Okay, Mickey, how's that feeling there? Very nice. Yeah, that's good? Yes. Okay. Now... I feel that right side way more. Way, yeah, I can yeah. too, the tension on there. <laughs> it's funny. Okay. It's interesting how, you know, for whatever reason, most people have a lot more tension on one side of their body than the other. Mm -hmm. You okay? Oh yeah, this is really nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we'd stimulate this point just for a couple minutes here. I'm gonna get you to take your hands up there and start, exactly, and start stimulating those points there. How's it feel? Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Gallbladder 20 is very powerful at getting the, uh, regulating actually breath. And this is, an, this is a factor that uh, is very commonly related to insomnia. People know about sleep apnea, but they don't know that when it comes to just regulating breath, we can use acupuncture points to help with this process. So gallbladder 20 is a very important point when it comes to insomnia. Again, we'd stimulate this for, it could be one to two minutes. Okay, so the last acupuncture point we're gonna cover in the insomnia protocol is pericardium six. Now, all we do to find this is go to the transverse crease of the wrist, and then we're gonna come up three tune from that between the tendons of the palmaris longus and the flexor carpi radialis. So that's the palmaris longus there. Mickey, why don't you show them where the, what three tune is on you? Okay, bring this up here. Okay, so we're gonna to go to about right there. How's that feel? Oh, it's tender. That's yeah, tender right there. I'm gonna go between the tendons there and kind of stimulate that a little bit right there. Okay. How's that feel? That's, yeah, it's getting better. Yeah. So again, it's very important that we stimulate all of these points for maximum results. And we found that when we start dealing with stress, anxiety, we start dealing with breathing issues, and a lot of the factors that are related to insomnia, that people will start to uh, see some good results. So it's starting to ease off a little bit? Yeah. Okay. So again, we stimulate for you know a minute or two. And so each of these points here, we would actually uh, do it on both sides of the body, not just one. But I'm quite obviously demonstrating only one side for the video. Good, excellent. Give it a try, I think you'll find good results.